So the biggest problem in China is not the freedom of speech. It is not the military. It is definitely not the safety. You know what I believe is the biggest problem here in China? Phones. Yep, I believe that phones is the biggest problem here in China. And if you've ever been to China, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. But today, me and Emma, we are on kind of a search because we want to prove to you just how bad people are with phones in China. And by bad, I mean addicted, glued to their phones. When you go into a restaurant, people do not have conversations with each other. They are just on their phones the whole time. And for me as a foreigner, if I even touch my phone when I am like at a dinner, for example, even with my family, my mom will take my phone immediately. But here is just not a thing. But the reason why I thought I'm going to make this video with you guys today is because of the danger that it is causing on the roads because people I don't know how they do it some people might call it skill but I just call it dangerous like while they are driving their e-bikes they are literally on their phones like the whole time and it's like they are scrolling and I'm like okay maybe they're just using the maps you know because that's why people are using phones is to check on the map and it's completely normal no these people are reading the news or they are checking their wechat channels look these people they are talking i'm proud of them even though he's on his phone but at least having a conversation but yes people are literally reading the news while they are on their e-bikes and please these people are not going two kilometers per hour they are going really really fast so yeah today we came to this coffee shop to have lunch and also there are a lot of shops around there so we're doing some research today and i'm showing you these people are talking very good uh there let me see i'm gonna zoom it in for you guys okay there are some people sitting there some girls completely just on their phones they're not having conversations like that is one thing foreigners <laughs> do really well they have conversations and a lot of you tell me oh but Chinese people are not social people and I think that is the reason why it's because they are just on their phones the whole time so they are never out of their comfort zone to actually talk to each other yeah so the other day for example this one guy went on a blind date and we were sitting there and you can clearly see that it was a blind date and he was on his phone the whole time he didn't talk one word to the girl and I'm like okay well obviously he's showing the girl he's not interested but then I heard no 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 that's just you know normal doesn't mean he's not interested it's just maybe he's shy or whatever I'm like nope doesn't work for me I mean if I'm ever on a date and the guy pulls out his phone and he's on his phone the whole time without even looking at me I'm walking away and that guy will never see me again but also I do want to say like I do have sympathy for the Meituan drivers like they are on their e-bikes the whole day but it is your job like for example some jobs are very like strict when it comes to phone policy like you can't be on your phone at work so it's double the no go like don't be on your phone when you are an e-bike driver because it is dangerous for other people and just don't be on your phone like here in China and I pretty sure all around the world people are really difficult so these made one drivers like they do have to get from one point to another really really quickly otherwise people are gonna complain and they're gonna lose money so if you are ever in China and you order something on made one please give them a good review because they do really like speed from one place to another but yeah the phones are just a no-go like yeah phones are just a thing I don't know in how many other countries you get like these portable chargers everywhere like there is in China and it's because people are on their phones the whole time whether they are playing games or whether they are just checking their TikTok or their channels or whatever but I think something that I do want to talk about that is really sad is parents like I have been to a lot of restaurants where 
the kid will be eating and the mom or the dad will just be on their phone the whole time like while the kid is talking to them they'll just be like mm, scrolling on their phone mm. and like parents are at work the whole day and then they come home and they just lie on the couch and they're on their phones again because for them that is chill time but they don't spend time with their kids they don't give the kids the attention that i think a kid needs to have so yeah for me i love it when you know people are not on their phones people are having a conversation like here just now while i'm showing you guys it is so amazing to see people actually having conversations but it's supposed to be the normal thing i'm not supposed to be walking around and being surprised that wow people are actually talking to each other so yeah i that makes me sad when i see parents on their phones a lot and especially like maybe friends it's different right friends you like can like sit and i know they play games against each other like i get that but like even maybe you know a couple when they're outside there's no quality time spent when you're sitting on your phone playing the whole time it is completely different talking to each other and just sitting next to each other playing games the whole time like i know for a fact that i'm not the only person that is anti-phone because we do need our phone for a lot of things but geez everyone like relationships are important let's see let's see these tables let's check hi talking wow they're talking i'm proud of them oh here we go got some phones oh another phone and it is really such a beautiful day these people why do they even come to a coffee shop when they're anyway not going to talk to each other and also like here you can see it's like people stop at the robots immediately phones come out immediately checking the channels i think it's become such a habit such an addiction that people really don't just look around or enjoy the scenery like everyone that is driving for example on the road it they are acting like they are doing some serious business all the time and they are not yes sometimes there will be people that put their phone there for the map which is amazing but that only happens sometimes most time it is people that is scrolling or talking to people or stopping at a robot and just looking around every once in a while it's just like go 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 phone go 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 phone everything is just about the phone and I think in the end it causes so much misery because relationships are so important in the real world to be able to have conversations with your parents with your friends with you know whoever you are in a relationship with but these kind of relationships don't exist here so that is why I think that is the biggest problem from my side in China like so many people talk about stuff about freedom of speech and the military and the government that doesn't really affect you know people personally but this is something that is affecting everyone and yeah here in China it's either like go to a coffee shop play on your phone for two hours maybe say five words to your friends or it is go out and play on your phone get drunk and only when you get drunk then start having conversations that's not how it's supposed to be i feel like people are supposed to you know put themselves out of their comfort zone to be able to have conversations i understand it doesn't come easily for everyone but yeah it can start maybe from a young age because what kids do what parents see right so if the kids see that the parents just all the time on their phone they're just going to be on their phone all the time and then when they grow up it's going to be the same with their kids so somewhere i believe it needs to change we can use phones in an appropriate way but it's not supposed to you know come between relationships like these online dating apps where people are just talking to each other the whole time like meeting people online is okay i'm not saying that's wrong i'm saying it's not okay to have a relationship over the phone and never see the person because you are just too scared or too shy to put yourself out of your comfort zone i'm pretty sure that woman just said youtube did you hear that emma I'm pretty sure that woman just said YouTube. But yes, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that today. Look, this guy having a break on his phone. I don't know. Phones are the biggest problem in 
China, nothing else. The biggest dangerous food, the biggest problem is phones. So yes, whoever, whoever is watching this and you are Chinese, let me know <laughs> how bad are you addicted to your phone. Emma, what do you think is the biggest problem that foreigners have? Biggest problem foreigners Yeah, like have. from my side, I'm a foreigner and I think the biggest problem is Chinese people are too much on their phones. So from a Chinese perspective, what is your biggest problem about foreigners? What do you think Chinese people think is the biggest problem about foreigners? Because like you guys always say, oh, I don't get like, how can you talk to people so easily? How can you ask so easily for stuff? And how can you make friends so quickly? Mm. But it's not like me who is like extra special. It's just foreigners can mm. do that because we just talk to everyone. Yeah. Because we are not shy because we haven't, you know, grown up in a society where it's just about phones. Yeah. So what else do you think maybe is a problem for a foreigner from a Chinese side? Some foreigners are lazy, really lazy. <laughs> but the Chinese people are also lazy. <laughs> so every Chinese people work a little bit harder than foreigners. Yeah, but that's I mean, I think. yeah, that's older people. I feel like the younger generation are definitely more lazy. And that's also why. Right. So we can't. Oh, okay, well, if you're watching, Emma didn't have an answer, but yeah, I wonder from a Chinese perspective, how do they look at foreigners? Like, that is not necessarily like really bad, but just like from my side, I feel like the phone problem is a bad thing or it's a problem. So yeah, what kind of problem do you think foreigners have that Chinese can say to us? But yeah, thanks for watching until the end. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, do it now. Because yeah, these are the best videos in China. We're having a good time discussing some things. And I'm here on the ground in China to show you everything that is the truth. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.